Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tara. This is going to be a reading for the sign of cancer. If you have cancer in your birth chart, this reading may be for you. And the readings are timeless, so when you see it or when you are drawn to watch it, may may that's when it may, you may take something away from it. Um, please do give these readings a thumbs up. That way YouTube moves them along so that whomever needs to um, hear the message may get a chance of seeing it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that little bell. That will notify you every time that I upload. I read all the comments. I love to, to read the comments. And um, I had someone tonight um, tell me where they were from. That's awesome if you want to do that. Um, but yeah. I may not always say something back, but I read them. That one wanted to come out. Ooh. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Okay. Let's see what we get. For my cancers. My little girl, my youngest daughter, is a cancer. My oldest daughter is a Libra and my son is a Virgo. Looky there. Looky there. It was meant to come out, wasn't it? Knight of Cups. Samaya so offering that love up. Somebody wanting to offer something. Four of Cups. Nine of Wands. You know, whoever this is for, I feel like it's unexpected. And, you know, I feel like that, you know, I'll be honest. This may be someone from the past. I feel like that, you know, you kind of, you know that they're, they're, they're going to offer, they're offering to you. But you're really looking at the past, it feels like. And you're, you may be interested in someone else, but... Yeah, I'm getting that. You feel like this is bold of them. This is unexpected and it's like boldness. And you're kind of, there's a feeling of on guard. So, this, this is either somebody from the past or for some of you, this is someone that may have not to give you the time of day whenever you wanted them to. Justice. Balance. I'm drawn to that sword though. Only intuition on this one. Yeah. See clearly. You know, it, it, you know, they, they feel like that they can work with you. They, they, everything will balance and, and they just, they see you that way. They really are going to, you know, they're wanting to make that offer. And 
they want to offer a motion as well as you know something stable when we get the knight and the page here. But I feel like you're on guard. Ha. Ah, okay, we've got someone else. We've got two two. There's two. Yeah, I really feel like you're you're on guard. But you got you've got two two people. That explains <coughs> excuse me, the two cups there. One of these people, I feel like, you know, like I said, someone from the past, I feel like they walked away from me. Or you walked away from them. You have to put yourself where you belong, but. You know, I feel like you're going to be in decision mode because, you know, I feel like you're going to have two. You're going to have two people. Someone from your past and then someone else. Perfect pair. The Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Water energy. Your energy. One of these people may be your perfect match. There's our other person. Okay. You're really going to have to do some, you know, some thinking about this because the devil's involved with one of the, you know, one of these energies feels toxic. You know, and you don't want to be like, I mean, you know, for me, what I'm getting is you can't have a new beginning with someone, but at the same time, you don't want to be foolish. You don't want, and you don't want to be foolish. Whomever you are, you kn you know who you are. You do not want to be foolish, and you don't plan on it. So I feel like you are really going to look at this and take your time with that hangman here. You know, to really figure out which one of these people you're going to walk away from. That's what I'm feeling. But You know, it's like one of these people really want to work on growing something with you. I mean, we've got the seven of pentacles here. But it's like, you know, you're going to really be thinking hard about this. So, you need to look at both people from, you know, from both sides here, I feel like. Honestly, because it's like someone you've known, someone you've had some dealing with, and then... Another is either someone you just met or a new energy coming in. So I would just take a look, you know, see right here. They're going to tell you. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Someone has got the devil energy attached to them. That's negativity. One of these people, you have to figure out who. You know, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, very soon. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like this, you know, it's showing future. What what can be. But you have that free will to choose. 
So you're really going to have, I would really stand back and see clearly. You know, observe, observe, put your eagle eyes to work, you know, dead on. And look at both of these energies. You know, one may not be in, you know, in your life yet. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. So, I mean, yeah, it's just going to call for you to really, you know, take your time on this, it feels like. Don't jump to nothing. Uh, to, you know, and that's just like this past person. You can't jump the gun and say, well, it's them that's associated with the devil unless, you know, they did something already in the past to show you that they have negativity attached to them. But that is what we've got, and, um, yeah, so I don't know who it's for. If it does not resonate to you, to your life, don't try to make it fit it. And, um... Till next time. Bye.